Hey, what's going on guys? Reseller Tom here. Today we're going over what sold as well as my sales. I know I've been out of it on YouTube, but I do want to update you guys with how I am doing. Not doing bad. I'm averaging around like 180 a day. Recently, it's been going way up around like uh, 220 per day. So that's great to see. And um, when I saw you guys last, it was a little exaggerated because I was saying like cameras and stuff like that, technology, uh, along with like I was kind of just getting rid of the technology that I don't use anymore, but you know, I was consistently listing like 20 to 30 per day. Right now I'm doing 20 per day every single day. Haven't really missed, I think I only missed one or two days, which is horrible, but um, you know, we're already a month in more than a half of the year. Uh, so um, yeah, we're at like in the last 30 days, 5.7 K. Last week, 1.3K today, um, which is Monday. It's a holiday, President's Day. Uh, it's 10 a.m. and I'm at $115, um, which is not too bad. So I'll probably end the day around 200 again. Uh, the last 90 days, 16,000, which is different from my phone. My phone says 19,000. I'm not sure which one's right. But we're going to go through every single thing that sold over the weekend. We're going to go super fast. So I apologize if like, you know, it's just really fast. But I do want to go over what sold just so you guys get better value. And everything that has sold, I found from the bins. And I try to get only good condition. Like I try to really avoid anything that has um, anything that has like holes or um, like stains or anything. I am top rated. So it was like a three-day weekend. I do ship on Saturday. So everything you see right now is going to be past the cutoff point on Saturday, which is like 7 a.m. So this has been from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Monday. So Saturday to Monday, 30 items sold. And I'm listing about 20, like I said, per day consistently. And so we're going to go over everything that's sold. And... Um, so the first thing is the Santa Cruz tank top. It is a large. I don't usually pick this up, but it sold for uh, $14 total. I'm just going to go over the total. So the price bracket that I have for shipping is $5.95 for first class and then $8.90 for anything that is priority mail. My price brackets on my website are anywhere from like $12.95 uh, the next tier up is fourteen ninety five, and then it is seventeen ninety five, and then it's twenty four eighty eight, and then if it's like really nice, if it's a jacket or anything like that, usually I'll price it at thirty four um, eighty eight, and those are kind of the price brackets that I go with. If I see something is way more expensive, then I'll try to price it over the thirty four, but usually that's where I price everything at. So if it's just like something super basic like this, it'll just be twelve. 95 and then if something's really old and it's been around for like six plus months i usually just put at like nine dollars i just want to get rid of it so i'm just going to go over the totals you can kind of see like what it sold for so we're just going to go really fast you can um, slow down the speed if i go too fast but i just want to go over go over what sold what i'm finding in the bins right now and what is selling and it's just all bread and butter stuff all just basic stuff a lot of the stuff is first class so i try to mainly get first class stuff just because it's cheaper on shipping less than fees all that good stuff so 14 total santa cruz tank top then we have an adidas argentina soccer jersey 34 total we have nike dry fit um small leggings for twenty dollars total a t-mobile sweater for 17 total old navy shirt large um checkered repeat customer around 12 total vintage ralph Lauren polo shirt purple small um green pony for 17 dollars total carhartt just basic regular like t-shirt extra large tall it was it was like blue or black and uh, that's 17 total. O'Neill shirt, large pink short sleeve crew neck, 17 or 18 total. Gymshark shirt, large short sleeve, 12 total. Adidas polo shirt, medium. It was uh, a gray climb light, like golf polo. And that was uh, around 19 total. Tommy Bahama sweater, which is women's. And that was a size small, like $20 total or 19 
Um, penguin shirt, men's medium, red button up, short sleeve, which was like nineteen. A marmot jacket, which was a small, was thirty dollars total. Nike baseball pants, it was youth and uh, it was just like white with red stripes. Twenty dollars total. A Puma, um, Emirates, uh, soccer jersey, twenty six total. Anytime I see soccer jerseys, I pick it up because they usually sell for like twenty five plus. Vintage polo, uh, chino shorts. It has all like. It has the pony all over print, which is around twenty dollars total. Nautica performance tee, just super basic black shirt, fifteen total. Um, Air Jordan shorts, which is like just like Jordan basketball shorts, uh, and it was extra extra large for sixteen total. It had like marks and stuff. Usually, I would sell that for like around twenty five total. <clears throat> Equinox shirt in in LA, you know, a lot of people go to Equinox and. Uh, this is the second time finding it, 15 total. Van Housen, I don't know how to say it. $18 total. I I usually pick these up if it's in really good condition. For some reason, they just sell really well for me. American Eagle shirt, short sleeve, extra small blue, crew neck, 17 total. Tommy Bahama shirt, this was a, uh, a large, and it was 100% silk. $18 total. Adidas leggings, just Basic black uh, with the three white stripes. This was size large for $20 total. Uh, Adidas long sleeve. It was like white and pink with like white stripes. And that was $24 total, which sells good. Anytime you see like long sleeve for like good mall brand stuff, it usually sells pretty fast. H&M woman extra small red short sleeve, just super basic, $15 total. Pink by Victoria's Secret, just long sleeve, like basic shirt. It's like a sweater kind of, seventeen dollars. Uh, the Nike a Nike hoodie. It was blue high neck, and that was a large for seventeen dollars. Vintage Marlboro shorts, which is like nylon, twenty dollars total. And then just a Puma sweater, uh, like sweatshirt, sold internationally for thirty seven dollars. I don't like international deals to be honest, because it. It throws off the uh, final value fee and it kind of gives me an unrealistic like view because it's like $25 shipping. Um, but that's basically it, guys. That's everything that's sold. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know what's selling for you guys. If you like this type of content, let me know and subscribe because I will be posting more of these. Have the best day ever. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.